Okay, so let's solve another example. This time, uh, the question is asking us to find the input-output characteristic, meaning that um, plot the V out versus V in. Okay, so um, in the essence of it, like basically at the end of the day, you have to actually uh, analyze the circuit anyway. And then, well, if they want V out versus V in, we're going to plot that. If they want um, current versus voltage, we're going to do that. So in the um, circuit analysis part, this doesn't really matter much. You just have to analyze the circuit and you have to understand how the circuit works before actually trying to plot anything. But sometimes the plot wants us V out versus V and sometimes it wants uh, diet voltage versus diet current or something else. Okay. So how do I approach this? Again, uh, I'm going to make assumptions, right? So let's say that if D1 or let's write if so that you know this is an assumption. So if D1 is off, let's see what happens to the circuit. If D1 is off, my circuit is going to look like this. Resistor and, well, I have an open circuit here, and this is called V out. Okay. So the first thing I notice here is that there's no current. There's no closed loop. There's no circuit uh, by its literal definition. So when there's no circuit, there's no loop in here, there's not going to be any current. If there's no current, then it means that the voltage across this resistor is going to be zero volts, um, which means that, well, here is going to be V in, and here is going to be, well, the negative terminal of our voltage source. So if I call here zero or ground on top of, the circuit i'm going to have the voltage v in so i'm going to have when the diode is off v in and v out is going to be equal to each other right so v in is going to be equal to v out okay now what will happen if the diode is on so if the diode d1 is on well if it is on then I'm going to have my V in here. I'm going to have R1. And I'm going to have, I'm going to replace my diode with a voltage source called VD on. And this is my V out. Okay, plus, minus. Now, let me make this a little bit longer so they don't think this is a capacitor. So, um, what would be the V out? Again, uh, but all of these questions that I ask you, I really hope that you guys actually pause the video and try to think about it, especially when we're actually solving diet questions. Try to do it yourself. Then even if you couldn't do it or you got some answers, uh, resume the video and then basically watch my solution. And then uh, in every step, when I ask you a question that like, what do you think the VLT is going to be? Pause it, think about it, and then uh, try to see if you can get it right, okay? This is the only way you have to practice, and this is the only way that you can actually learn how to solve these things, okay? So what do you think the V-out is going to be? Um, I hope that you guys have thought about it, but uh, from the circuit analysis basics, we know that the voltage across a voltage source is always constant, right? So since I have a voltage source here called VD on, V-out is going to be equal to VD on. I don't care about the rest of my circuit, right? So there is going to be some current through the resistor, which is basically V in minus V on divided by R1, but I don't care about that. I care about V out and V out is V on, okay? So I know that my diode cannot have any other kind of conditions. It, it is either off or on. When it is off, V in is equal to V out. When it is on, V out is equal to V on. So what does that tell me? That tells me that, well, If this is V in and this is V out, I know that one of these lines is telling me that the sec the first one is telling me V in is equal to V out. And the second one is telling me V out is equal to some VD on. So let's say that this is VD on. So V out equal to that means this line. Okay, so it means that like I have these two lines and they actually collide each other at V in equal to V in equal to V out equal to V D on. Okay, so which part of these lines are actually correct? 
and which part is not. So I know that uh, when, when, my, when I'm assuming that the diode is off, it means that the voltage here is actually much smaller than the voltage here, right? Well, not much, it's smaller than the voltage there, right? So when V in is actually uh, smaller than V D on, so to the left of this point, if I have any current, so like for basically, I'm, I'm talking about this line, right? This part of this line. If I do have any current, um, or if I want to keep my V out at V D on, if V in is a smaller than V D on, then I'm gonna have basically here, I'm gonna have V D on, let's say 0.7 or something, and here I'm gonna have V in that is smaller than that, that than that 0.7, meaning that the current is going to flow that way. The current flowing that way means that the current is flowing in this direction for the diode, which is a no-no. It's a big no for me. So that means that the moment that V in becomes smaller than V out, I'm not going to have V out equal to V D on. So this V in V out equal to V D on is only valid for the cases that V in is greater than V D on, right? What happens the moment that what happens to V in put to the case that V in is smaller than V D on? Well, I'm going to this situation where the diode turns off because if the diode is going to current uh, to uh, conduct current in this direction, it means that well we cannot have a current and it is it means that it is off, right? If the diode is off, we're in this situation and V in is equal to V out, so. I'm gonna have this plate, this piece correct. Why you might think that why this part of the line is not correct? Well, imagine that V in is equal to V out and V in is greater than V D on. Let's say that V D on is 0.7 and my V in is at two volts. This means that V out has to be two volts. But can I have a two volt across my diode? Because if V if V out is equal to V in and V in is two volt, V out has to be two volts. But remember, this was my diode model, right? My diode cannot get, cannot take if this is V D and this is I D. My diode cannot take any voltage greater than V D on. The moment it reaches V D on, it stays there and it's, it becomes a voltage source, and I can have any current, but I cannot have any voltages higher than V D on. So that's a uh, kind of a paradox that's a contradiction so this part of my solution is uh, this part of the assumption is actually not correct so again let's go back and kind of review what we did in this question so in the beginning uh, let me actually erase all these arrows so that I can explain this easier so in the beginning, I saw that I have the circuit. Let's say this is ground. And I do that, I have this voltage source. And I want to know, well, uh, for what ranges of this V in, my diode is off, and what, for what ranges it is on. Um, I analyzed what will happen to the V out when the diode is off and when the diode is on, right? Now, I all, all I know, need to know is, what is where, where is that turning point, right? Uh, at what voltage uh, for the V in, I'm going to switch from off to on or from on to off, right? Um, looking at the circuit, I thought about it that, okay, so if here is ground, um, here is V in. So let's start from negative infinity, V in being negative infinity. I know that in that situation, my diode is definitely off, right? If here is negative infinity and here is zero, I'm not going to have a voltage here that is greater than zero, right? Because my voltages are always between the two sources that I have in this circuit. I have a zero and a negative infinity. So any voltage that I have here is somewhere between the two, right? So I know that my diode is off if I'm starting from this point, which is negative infinity moving to the right, right? So at, if since the diode is off, I'm going to consider this circuit. And for that circuit, I know that V out is equal to V in, right? So let me replot this again here. This is V in and this is V out. So at negative infinity, I know that V, v in is equal to V out. So I'm, I'm actually having a line with a slope of one. OK, 
Okay. Now the question is that how far I can go with this line? Well, if V in is equal to V out, this means that when I get negative 50 here, here's going to be negative 50. And when I get uh, negative 5 volts, I'm going to have negative 5. When I get plus, I don't know, 0.5 volts, I'm going to have plus 0.5 here. So this trend uh, that V out is equal to V in, in basically continues until I reach a voltage at the V in that turns the diode on. What is that voltage? Well, it's the tertiary voltage here, the VD on here. So the moment I reach VD on, so until then, I still have V out equal to V in. I have a straight line, although my drawing is not really straight. Uh, I have a straight line. The moment I reach VD on, something interesting happens. The diode turns on, and then it doesn't allow for V out to actually increase any further. It kind of enforces the V out to be at VD on forever and ever because we know that when the diode is turned on, my circuit looks like this. And I know that for a circuit like, like this, well, I have a voltage source, a battery here equal to VD on. So V out is kind of fixed to VD on. So these are two different ways to look at this circuit to actually better understand how this works.